Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom and I am so excited to go around and check out all of the holiday festivities for this year. Of course we have the Merry Menagerie returning and I love those little puppets, they are the best. And also some really cool snacks. So I figured we'd come on out, ride some rides, eat some food and have a joyful Animal Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Speaking of the Merry Menagerie, look at this! Oh, what a greeting! What a way to start the day! Oh, that is awesome! This is my friend Peppermint! Peppermint? Hi! Oh, that is too awesome! Well, hi Peppermint! I hope you have a great day! Thank you, you as well! <laughs> See ya! That might have been one of the best entrances into a theme park I've ever had. What a greeting! I love that. I love Peppermint. Do you see how awesome those characters are? And they'll be out roaming around. That's the Merry Menagerie that I was talking about. They're always right in front of the Tree of Life. So as soon as you walk in, you'll see all different types of animals, just like Peppermint. You'll see birds, foxes, penguins, and they are adorable. What does the fox say? Bye -bye. Wow! Oh! oh, 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 oh. See, you See you later! Bye! Now, this is a holiday week. Thanksgiving is just two days away, so the park might be busy. And I was thinking about actually getting Genie Plus, but I kind of want to see what the wait times are like before buying it. And if we have to, then I'll buy Genie Plus. At least I have to ride Expedition Everest. I feel like every time I come to this park, Expedition Everest is a must. And also, Dinosaur, because those days are running really low. We're going to be losing Dinosaur. Actually, this might be my last time to ride Dinosaur dinosaur during the holiday season. Like I mentioned, this is a holiday week, so the park is busy, and it looks like I need to get Genie Plus if I want to ride anything. Flight of Passage is a 150-minute wait. Navi River is 80 minutes. Kilimanjaro Safaris is 90 minutes. Holy moly. Oh, wow. Expedition Everest, 55 minutes. Triceratops Spin is 25 minutes. Everything is over a half an hour, except for Triceratops Spin. On top of all of the holiday festivities, I also have dining reservations at Tiffin's and I'm excited because they have a new menu. Tiffin's is one of the fanciest restaurants on property. In fact, it was voted one of the best theme park restaurants in the world and Nomad Lounge actually has a new menu, so maybe we'll try both of them. I was thinking since we're at Animal Kingdom, it wouldn't be too expensive today, but I was wrong. Look at this. This is seriously one of the most expensive tiered systems I've seen yet. Usually Animal Kingdom is like $13, $14 because it's the lowest purchased uh, Genie Plus, like, you know, and it's $25. For the whole day, it's $35, $25. So I guess we're doing it. Well, look at that. I bought Genie Plus for $25, and the first uh, Lightning Lane I selected was Kilimanjaro Safaris at uh, 1.30, uh, because I figured I could do Expedition Everest in the single rider line, so I don't want to use it on that, and that one has, uh, Kilimanjaro's has the longest wait. Sadly, uh, there's no Avatar Flight of Passage available or Navi River Journey, so if we do, we're gonna have to keep checking because they do come available. I wish I didn't have to buy any Genie plus uh, but uh, yeah if it saves me like an extra three hours then it's worth the, the $25 in fact I probably would pay 30 you know if it saved me uh, $10 per hour I mean I wish we could have the old fast pass plus but you got to do what you got to do since we have a couple minutes until it's Kilimanjaro safari time I want to take the train over to Rafiki's planet watch a lot of people don't even know there's a train ride in Disney's Animal Kingdom. And I love going to Rafiki's Planet Watch. I mean, some good advice right there. Open your eyes to the world around you. When I was getting ready this morning, I wanted to wear something that was festive and green for Disney's Animal Kingdom, but I didn't have anything Disney related, so I decided I'm wearing one of the new elf shirts from Roosevelt. And I love this. This is one of my all-time favorite Christmas movies. And uh, yeah, I think it fits in perfect because of Animal Kingdom. Look at that. It's so nifty. 
The Harambi Railway Station offers the Wildlife Express to Conservation Station, a backstage journey through Disney's Animal Kingdom. I love this ride so much. It literally takes you over to Rafiki's Planet Watch, and it's a nice little petting zoo. They have some really cool art uh, like uh, demonstrations in there, so we're going to journey back there. A backstage journey. Like I mentioned, there are backstage areas, so you sit in the train facing outwards because behind you are areas uh, Disney really doesn't want you to see. Welcome aboard the Wildlife Express with service to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Station, where you can That's Kilimanjaro Safaris right over there. Is all the way back to Walt Disney himself and his long standing passion for conservation. As we make our way to the Rafiki's Planet Watch, keep an eye out for some of the exciting wildlife you might encounter along the way and the highly trained specialist in the water. Wow, look at the rhinos! And that's the cheetah building over there. That train ride is so much fun. I remember I used to come here and I used to just sit on it and ride it like for several times and never get off. It's one of those attractions, kind of how the people movie used to be or the, the, the train in the Magic Kingdom where you're fortunate enough that you can just go and sit down and just re-ride. You know what I mean? In case you're ever looking for a ride in Animal Kingdom where you can just sit down, relax, look at your phone, take in all the beauty around you, that's the one. And now we're at the conservation station and let's go pet some animals. <laughs> When you get off the train, you just have to follow Rafiki and uh, he'll show you the way to the conservation station. Rafiki will show you the way. After we get done at conservation station, I think we're going to head to Expedition Everest next and uh, see how long the single rider line is. And then uh, hopefully Kilimanjaro safaris after that, unless something else opens up like Flight of Passage and definitely Dinosaur. Here it is, the conservation station. This reminds me of my elementary school field trips to Claws and Paws up in, uh, up in the Poconos there. Good old Claws and Paws. Inside the building, you can learn to draw some of your favorite characters at the animation experience right here. And then also learn about animal health and care uh, with a little look behind the scenes at like the veterinarian care that they have over there. We're gonna actually look over there. Looks like they have a MRI machine. Wow, look at it all decorated for Christmas in there. That is amazing. Wow, look at this. Holy moly. I love this so much. Look at the little Mickey over there with the scrubs. This is actually a working laboratory too. You can see them actually doing stuff in the back there. There's some x-rays. I don't know what uh, animal that is on there, but that's kind of cool. Outside is where you get up and close with the animals and you can actually get in there. It's like a miniature petting zoo. They actually have little brushes where you can go up and uh, actually uh, brush your favorite goats. I think this one's my favorite because he's up in a planter. What are you doing up here? <laughs> he literally hopped up here. That's a pretty big jump, holy moly. How's he gonna get down? Look at this little pig roaming around. You know, I'm pretty sure this all spawned from when I walked in the park and I saw uh, Peppermint come up to me and I thought, wow, it'd be really cool to pet a real animal. And then I was like, wait a second, I can go to Conservation Station. So that's literally why I am here right now. And I'm so happy. <laughs> if you come over here, I will itch you right there. If you don't, you want me to? Here, come here. I gotcha. There you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, just like Gracie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can do it. There you go. Yes, you did it. Big steps. Yeah, look at you. You knew what was going on, didn't you? <laughs>
Well, now that we know the goat was able to get down successfully, uh, I think it's time to head back and get ready to go ride Expedition Everest. We have to take the train back, and uh, I'm kind of excited. Hopefully the single rider line isn't too long. It's one of my all-time favorite rides. Yes, look at that. I got an individual lightning lane for Flight of Passage. Now I'm excited. See, you have to keep checking the app because things come available. Like if somebody cancels a lightning lane, it actually just goes back into the pool and someone else can select it. So we've got Flight of Passage. And since we have Flight of Passage during the time that we had Kilimanjaro Safaris, I decided to switch that one for Expedition Everest. So that way, even if it's a long wait for single rider, we can just get on it and then go ride Flight of Passage. Oh boy, this is not looking too good for us here, guys. The wait time says 65 minutes, but I feel like it's a lot longer than that. The queue up goes all the way around there, and the lightning lane is backed up. The lightning lane is all the way backed up, all the way down over there. So we might have to change our plans up. Oh, wait a second. They're actually holding off the standby line. This is it. They're letting people cross. Holy moly. So that's the end of the standby line all the way down there. Oh my lanta. <laughs> standby line starts here. Lightning lane starts here. Perfect. <laughs> I'm glad that we got the lightning lane because this is the single rider line. Look at this. Oh, I've never seen the single rider line this long before. <gasps> wow. Here comes our train. that view. Oh boy, hang on. My hat, a vault. was a great ride on Expedition Everest and even though the lightning lane was backed up we actually got on pretty quickly I mean they were out there like literally getting people right through and I love seeing that they're on point there were so many cast members around Expedition Everest I was like wow they got this 
Since we have to walk by Dino Land USA, I figured I'd stop in and show you guys around a little bit. If you didn't hear, uh, we're gonna be losing Dino Land USA. It's gonna be replaced with the Tropical Americas. It's a new land that's gonna feature Indiana Jones and Encanto. As you can see, they already took down the primeval world. Nothing over there. And uh, pretty soon, I don't know when, but uh, all of this will be gone. Even our beloved dinosaur to be replaced with an Indiana Jones ride. And you know, honestly, I'm on the fence about it. <laughs> I kind of am excited. I don't know when Dino Land USA is closing. They might have announced a date. Uh, so I'm not too sure if this is going to be the last holidays or not. But I don't see them keeping it an extra year. You know what I mean? If they've already announced it. And Josh tomorrow just talked about this recently. And he uh, actually put more thoughts into the matter. And there's actually a uh, map out there that kind of, well, it's a concept art of what they plan on doing. So if you want to check it, you just Google, you know, Dino Land USA closer. I'm sure you'll find all the details. I had a lot of times hanging out over here. I used to love coming on vacation and just relaxing, listening to the dinosaurs. This literally was one of my all-time favorite Disney rides. It's just scary. It's very. It's dark places and scary dinosaurs. It's literally on the sign. Dark places and scary dinosaurs. That's why I love it. All right, well now it's time to go get that dino. Let's go get that dino. We've got to get in, grab the Iguanodon, and get out before the asteroid hits. Let's roll! Okay, now let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Styracosaurus. Not our dino. Warning, meteor shower in range. Just little one. Oleoramus. Sauropod. Still not our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. Computer, full stop. Ah! Identify. Computer, now what? Carnotaurus. That's it! Abort mission! Abort! Abort! Get them out now! enough of the rides even though i'm happy we did get that dino i love that ride it is great but now i need to get something neat so we're going to start making our way over to tiffin's and also i gotta put our name on the nomad lounge because just because we're eating at tiffin's doesn't mean we can get in the nomad lounge here is the nomad lounge it's such a nice cool spot to come hang out and uh kind of just relax for a little bit get out of the sun it's got beautiful views and you actually see some of the characters usually going by right here here is a look at the specials for the nomad lounge and i don't think we're going to actually eat at the nomad lounge because most of the new food is on the tiffin's menu so we can actually order it inside the restaurant because we have a dining reservation like this pineapple glazed pork belly this is new and then uh, also the korean barbecue mushroom bao buns i know you can get the pork belly at namu uh, uh namu i said namu nomad lounge but you can't get those bao buns and then also we have uh new New desserts and tiffins so i'm kind of excited tiffins is definitely what you would consider a uh, signature dining the food is amazing and the theming of the restaurant is based off of the uh, inspiration or the research of disney's animal kingdom it's really cool the, the 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 theming of the restaurant is themed around joe Rody and the imagineers going and exploring and getting inspiration uh for animal kingdom from africa and asia and it's really awesome so i'll point out some cool Cool, uh, decorations and artwork inside the restaurant when we go in and uh, it's also awesome that we can try some of the food from Nomad Lounge inside Tiffin's and vice versa you can get Tiffin's bread service 
at Nomad Lounge. There are three different rooms inside Tiffin's. This is the conservation room where we're actually dining. And then they have like a, uh, I think this one over on this side is Africa. It's on this side. And then Asia is on the other side of the Nomad Lounge. And it's cool because these are all photos and uh, different uh, pieces of art from when Joe Rohde and the Imagineers actually went uh, over to Africa like I was talking about and it's really cool because some of these uh, artworks I always say this is actually Africa and some of them are here in Harambe which is made up they changed up the recipe for the shrimp and grits and they're kind of using a pap which is uh, kind of like a grit in South Africa. I had it at Boma, so that's what I'm gonna actually get for my entree, the new and approved shrimp and grits. And then also I got the special uh, pork belly that you can get over at Nomad Lounge. But the thing I'm probably most excited for is the desserts. They always are amazing. The Lion King dessert, it's gonna be hard for me not to get that because I just love how beautiful it is. But I wanna see because they have new desserts so maybe we might get it anyway for my appetizer here is the new pork belly look at this this actually looks amazing I'm excited to dive on in um, I know they changed the whole entire presentation and then the sauce on it but uh, I don't think I've ever had the one before so uh, this is my first time trying it here pineapple glazed pork belly sounds fancy oh it's cut nice but there's no crispness to it. That's the only thing I noticed. Like, I don't have a crispy outside. We'll see. The sweetness of the pineapple mixed with that chili sauce underneath there. This is so good. It's not crispy, but it's got so much flavor. I actually love it. I love it. And holy moly, the shrimp and grits are here. And it looks amazing, doesn't it? Look at the shrimp looks so nicely seasoned. And they changed the seasoning on it too. And then like I mentioned, uh, the pap. That is uh, kind of like a different type of grit. Uh, I would say it's a little bit creamier base maybe. And I know they added goat cheese in it. I'm not the biggest fan of goat cheese. Uh, and I asked if you can get it without it, but they said it's all mixed together. So we'll see how it is. But I'm excited, the shrimp look great. They're pretty big shrimp too. Hopefully uh, it's not too spicy, I'll let you know. We'll see, there we go. That is definitely some of the best shrimp I've ever had. It's so flavorful, so much seasoning, not a lot of spice, just a little bit. Like I have a little lingering spice, but now I gotta try the combination. After a couple of bites, I'm starting to feel the spice a little bit. But it's not like overpowering, it's actually enjoyable. Like usually spiciness, like I feel like I get hot and flush, but like it's just kind of sitting, like sitting back there very nicely, very, very politely. Hopefully it doesn't escalate. <laughs> And the desserts have arrived. And honestly, I can say that the desserts here are like literally some of the best desserts on property. Look at the Lion King dessert. Now this is always here and it's so amazing. It's got brownie in there. There's so many different aspects. This little part right here, this is actually edible. Like you can scrape that off. Remember who you are. And then they have a mandarin white chocolate uh, creme brulee, I think it is. This is their new uh, dessert, and it looks just as good. So I'm excited to dive in and try them. First, we're going to try the creme brulee. We got a little ice cream on there, too. And I want to make sure I get a little bit of everything on one bite. There it is. Wow. Seriously, so much happening here. I love everything about it. So good. These are expensive desserts though. Like this little tiny thing I think is almost $20. Same thing goes with that. I don't know exactly the price amounts, but I mean, they're worth it. I mean, and you gotta make sure you get everything. Get the sauce, get the whole flavor. I hate destroying this dessert because it's just so beautiful, but we gotta dive in here. Look at it. And actually, I'm gonna use some of that with this. Nice little caramel mousse with a brownie bottom. Take that. I'm gonna take a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. There you go. Akuna Matara. Still the champion. My favorite. This is good, but this, 
That's good. Still wins. Yeah, I mean, this is, I love it every time. <laughs> Tiffin's was so good and the shrimp and grits were amazing. I love that shrimp. Like honestly, I'm gonna remember it. Like you ever have like certain items that you're just gonna always like remember tasting like amazing. I feel like that's how I'm always gonna feel about that shrimp. And also the Lion King dessert, you can't go wrong. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna keep on exploring and having fun for the day and ride some more rides. It's time for us to get ready to go ride Flight of Passage. But look at how beautiful it is in Pandora today. Look at this. Holy moly. We really got lucky. Avatar Flight of Passage is at 160 minute wait, so I'm so happy we have the lightning lane. Uh, but I don't know if we're gonna have a chance to do Kilimanjaro safaris afterwards. I have another lightning lane that I booked for Genie, but I wasn't expecting to get so much done. I mean, we did a lot today. We went to Rafiki's Planet Watch, we did Expedition Everest, Dinosaur, Flight of Passage, we had dinner at Tiffin's. So maybe, we'll see, who knows? Okay, Dr. Stevens, they're ready. Can everyone see me? Things are getting a little crazy in here. <laughs> What's happening? Core system components. Ooh. Active. Testing sampler system. Attention drivers. See Volco. Sell your gear on the back wall. Children. Para su seguridad. Avatar Flight of Passage is always fun and always puts me in like a good mood but we have to start making our way out that ride like it even if you lightning lean it still takes like 20 minutes just to get through the pre-show so I was in there for a while uh, but yeah it's starting to get dark out it's getting dark at like 5 p.m. 6 o'clock now in uh, Florida so the nights are getting shorter and shorter by the minute and uh, yeah head home and uh, check on Gracie girl I love how we get to walk out and see the Merry Menagerie before we're leaving. And they're out in full force tonight. Woo! Hi! Hi! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Adorable. Wow. <laughs> and then the bears are right there. Look at that. So cool. <laughs> Look at this little girl. What a pretty little princess. What are you doing? What are you doing? And with that, we are done here today. Sorry we didn't get a lot of Christmas stuff in the video. I just, uh, I don't feel like there was a lot of offerings this year. I mean, you have the Merry Menagerie, which is always awesome. Santa Claus was probably floating around on one of the, uh, the, the, the boats, uh, but like I didn't see a lot of like themed Christmas snacks. They still had a lot of pumpkin stuff and uh, things for the fall. So I was like, oh, I don't know if it started yet or not, but I still had a great day and it was one of the busiest days of the year. Like I said, Thanksgiving week is so busy here, but I walked into that totally expecting it. So uh, I made the most of the day and actually had a lot of fun. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If I don't see you guys before Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Everybody. I hope you uh, get to spend great quality time with family and uh, have some nice turkey. Uh, I'm not too sure what my plans are yet. I haven't figured it out, uh, but uh, I don't know. I'm sure I'll have a good time no matter what. And uh, I'm also excited to see my mom and sister. I don't know if I'm going to be seeing them for Thanksgiving, but uh, I think next month, December, we're going to actually get together. It's going to be a good time. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Gracie says hello, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!